Hello and welcome to ABW Lone Watch, where it is the, what is it? I think it's the 8th of March. Is it March or is it April? No, it's definitely March. The 8th of March for all of the players that are on loan that can be bothered to play games. Right. Let's start this off with, oh, here we go. This picture just makes me smile. You ready for it? Click. Look at that. Two of our boys wrestling in midfield. Oh. That is a that is a really nice picture. Makes me happy. Anyway, this show isn't to make you happy. This show is about facts. So I have put yet another Gooners on loan derby. West Bromwich Albion nil. Newcastle United nil. They both played in central midfield. Mainsley got a seven point one, and Joe got a six point seven. That's Mainsley's best rating so far in his six games for West Brom. Both of the players had one shot. I think one hit the post and the other one was saved. I'm sure that was it. Mainsley had a 76% pass success rate compared to Joe's 52, which is a bit odd because Joe usually has a really high pass success rate. Dribbles was 5-1 to Mainsley. Eh, he's a bit of a dribbler, isn't he? And where else did I put? And 2-1 to Joe on tackles so lovely west brom are still 18th in the premier league and are almost definitely going down while newcastle are 16th and could still be in trouble especially with fulham getting a few points recently right to the next one uh, another picture that i've managed to get that is actually from the game the further down the leagues you go the harder it is to get these pictures constantinos mavropanos Stuttgart went to Eintracht Frankfurt and drew 1-1. Mav got a 7.1 but went off after 69 minutes. That's the third time in the last six league games he has started the game and then come off at some point. The other two were injuries. This one doesn't say injury yet. Stuttgart have now got eight points from the last four games, which is really good, and are slowly moving up the table and have gone from 10th to 9th. That was after 12 games in a row being in 10th position. That's crazy and have now con only conceded three more goals than Bayern Munich. But they again, Bayern score about five goals a game, so that maybe doesn't count. Another picture actually from the game. I know. It takes me, it takes me longer to find the pictures than it does to write the gubbings. Matteo Genduzzi, Hertha Berlin. Matteo is wasting his time at Hertha. That's what I've put, and I'm sticking by it. He should be starting every game considering they are 15th in an 18 team league where the bottom two go down and 16th team playoff in a relegation playoff against the team that finished third in the Bundesliga 2. Herthley actually Herthley that's not a word. Hertha actually won the game for won a game for the first time in 10 league games where they managed two points in the previous nine games. Matteo came on at half time when they were 1-0 down at home to Augsburg they are the team that Stefan Lichsteiner went to after he left us. And he's I've now checked and Lichsteiner has retired. That's a bad end to your career. Were you in six, seven Serie A titles in a row? Come to Arsenal, play, don't play much. Go to Augsburg and, and end your career on your, on your bottom. Not very good. Anyway, he got a 6.4 rating and had a pass rate of 83% with 15 of his 18 passes going to a teammate. He has averaged 75 minutes per game over the whole of the time he's been there with two goals and one assist. So there you go, they're 15th. Um, not sure what to make of that. Not sure if it's him or whether it's the team. Anyway, you go another picture here from an actual game. As we can see there, it is Sad Kalasnic standing behind someone with his teammate laying on the floor. Good news and bad news in this game, depending whether your name is uh, Mustafi or Kalasnic. So... Schalke drew 0-0 at home with Mainz. That's the team where um, Tommy Tickles at Chelsea and uh, Kloppo made their, made their names as managers. They sacked Christian Gross, or as my keyboard has put, Grow. Don't know why it's done that. In midweek and have now had their sixth manager of the season. I went on to Wiki and counted it. It was only five. I think a couple of those were caretaker managers. But I don't make the rules. And they have moved to a back three with Kohler playing in central midfield in a three similar to ours. And Mustafi played in that game. Can remember he's been dropped a couple of times. He got man of the match and then got dropped. So Mustafi played in centre back of a back three and he got a eight point. No, Kohler got a 6.9 and got booked while Mustafi got his second man of the match in the last three games of an 8.8. .8. 
Maybe is it too late to put in a cheeky bid for him? Maybe 35 million. He got an 8.8. That 8.8 was the second highest rating of any player in the Bundesliga at the weekend, other than Lewandowski, who got a nine because he tore my Dortmund to pieces with another hat trick where he's got 31 goals in, I don't know, 25 games or something like that. Absolute madness. Any, oh, I've done that tap thing again, haven't I? Anyway, Schalke uh, are still going down. They are rock bottom on eight points by eight points with, I think they've got 10 points now. They are absolute pants uh lucas treyer so you can keep a you can keep looking there at kalasnich's picture i'm not changing the picture for this lucas treyer didn't play in atletico's 1-1 home draw with real madrid they're still top of la liga with a game in hand above barcelona now then we've got double saliba news here that is a picture of saliba running with the ball number 18 in the nice home kit unlike last week where i made a complete error uh, so there's, there's updated news about this. Oh, stunning, stunning news and updated news from tonight. Oh, you're all eager now. Oh, I see you shuffling a bit closer now, are we? You want to know what it is? Mm. Right then. Saliba played the whole game as Nice beat Nimes 2-1 at home. Saliba has now played the full 90 minutes in 11 of the last 12 games for Nice that he has been there. In his in this game, he got a rating of seven point six. Now this is this is the amazing bit. Have a sit down, get yourself a stiff drink or a warm glass of milk. I don't mind either. Will do. He had a ninety five pass success rate. Well, you think? Well, hold on, that could be. He, he got nine and a half passes out of ten right. That's what it could mean. Doesn't mean that. He got seventy six out of eighty passes correct. A centre back with seventy six accurate passes, unreal. Anyway. I then had a look and had a look at the rest of the team. They got Morgan Schneidlin playing in front of him and his centre back partner. His centre back partner, Tobido, T O B, no, T O B, no, Todibo, that's a D, T O D I B. I always get D's and B's max back to front when they're lowercase. Todibo made 90 successful passes. So between the centre back pairing, that's 166 successful passes. And I think Schneidlin had the same number as well. I think they're quite a passing team. We could do with him at the club now. Anyway, Nice are 11th in in league. Oh. I'm going to go and I'm going to have a look at my uh, main screen. And where is it? It's not there I want to go, is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, is it? Is it? There you go. Tonight, Nice have been playing Monaco. And Cesc Fabregas played in this game. Uh, nice lost 2-0 at home to Monaco in the French Cup 10th round. 10th round, I hear you say. Don't you mean something like the quarterfinal or the semifinal? No, no, no. That's the last 32 teams because I checked on Wikipedia. 7,378 teams entered the French Cup. You don't even have to be in France. All the French territories can enter it. Much like the FA Cup, Guernsey and Jersey are allowed to enter the FA Cup and they're not um, in the UK as in landmass. Now, don't go shouting and screaming. My family are from Guernsey. I do know they're part of the UK, but they're not in the UK, much like Northern Ireland isn't in the UK because there's a big lot of water separating it, like the Isle of Man and the Isle of Wight, not actually in, and the Isle of Sheppey and the Isle of Dogs. I don't know about the last two. I made that up. Seven and a half thousand teams. Bloody hell. Uh, this season, yeah, so that's, that's good. Right, a little bit. If Chris, if you're listening, he's not listening. He's, as I speak, people in our WhatsApp group, Chris is trying to worm his way out of being on tomorrow night's show. I thought it was on Wednesday, Governor. Oh, oh dear. I honestly thought it was on a Wednesday, didn't I? Oh, shiver me timbers. I'm not sure I can make a Tuesday. Fucking French shitbag. Anyway, his mighty team, you know, he's, he only likes shit teams like Malta and Lorient. Well, his mighty team, Lorient. They lost 1-0 at home to 4th Division side Le Poi Foot 43 Averne. Known as Le Poi, apparently. C'est la vie, Chris. C'est la vie. Saliba started the game and got booked in the 75th minute. So there you go. That was all the interesting information. So uh, I don't think Chris will be on tomorrow night. It's uh, Usually he, he backs out of a little, oh, I, feel, I feel poorly. Oh, my scurvy's playing up again. Oh, I'm going to have a lay down. <laughs> Shit bag. Right, let's move on to... Where are we up to now? Ah, we can... Do you want, do you want the picture of... Yeah, we'll leave Saliba up there. It's the only way we're ever going to get to see him. 
Geordie UC 2 2. Geordie missed her Cardiff's 4 0 home win over Wayne Rooney's Derby and then the draw away at Huddersfield. Doesn't say what the score is there at Huddersfield, does it? I don't know what the draw is. Make it up. 8 all. Cardiff are now 8th in the Championship and Mick McCarthy has been given a uh, permanent deal. So I had a little. Li a little? I didn't mean to say that, but, you know, some of you might like it. George Bird's website, arsenalyouth.wordpress.com, says about uh, Geordie, the right back is set to return to training today, having been out injured since October. So I think that's today, uh, George. But that is also on Twitter. If you want to go and find him, that's George with J. So uh, for all, all your hot Arsenal loanee reserves and use information. Right, the next picture is, uh, is this Ben? Yeah, look, stock photo of Ben Sheaf. Doesn't he look? He looks proud and handsome there. Good old boy. He's on loan at Coventry. Who I had, had down to get relegated from the Championship. No. Ben was on the bench for Coventry in their 2-1 one, one home defeat to Middlesbrough and came on in the 90th minute in the 1-0 home win over Derby County. Derby are going down, taking Wayne Rooney with him. God, I hate him. They are now 20th. Ben has played 29 games for Coventry this season. Oh, he's doing all right. Um, another picture. I've no idea what game it's from because trying to find pictures of Matt Smith is impossible. Uh, at least it isn't a Swindon one because Swindon and Charlton both play in red. So that's him in his Charlton kit in an empty stadium. Matt started both of Charlton's last two away games. They went to Wigan and won one nil, And then they went to Oxford and drew nil nil. He played in centre midfield against Wigan, came off after 81 minutes, and then got a 6.9. And in the Oxford game, he played right midfield, played 78 minutes, got a 6.6. .6. Charlton are currently ninth in League One. I had expected better from them. So, uh, Tyrese John Jules. Tyrese is still out of a torn muscle. He has missed his team's 2 1 home wins over Portsmouth and Plymouth. Or. Doncaster are back in the promotion race and a fifth after four losses and a draw from the last five games. Yeah, they were looking really strong for a while. Even my team, Peterborough, top of the league one, they lost to, was it Burton? Some rubbish team. I don't know. I'm too angry to talk about it. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, another picture. No idea if it's from the game is uh, Daniel Ballard of Blackpool. Blackpool have just had two 1-1 one -one home draws with Crewe and Wimbledon. Daniel played the full 90 minutes in both of the games, getting an 8.3 man of the match in the Crewe game and a 7.2 in the Wimbledon game. Odd that he had played the full 90 minutes for that last the last four games, then missed four games, then played the full 90 minutes for those four games, and then was out again for three games before that, and then played a game and then was out for four. Don't know what's going on. Anyway, he has played 14 games for Blackpool this season, and they still only 12th in League One. Harry Clark, do I? This, I've actually I was looking for Harry Clark pictures. It's a there's the goal mouth, and Harry Clark is number two. There is on one knee because the ball came in from the right from that number seven who has been hugged by his Bolton teammates. Came in from the right, went in off of Ballard into the into the net. He scored an own goal. So in the picture, he's kneeling down in front of the goal, going, "Oh, what have I done?" Um, after 15 games in a row where Harry played the entire game, this week against uh, Bolton in the 2-0 loss, he scored an own goal and he came off after 85 minutes of an injury and then he missed their next game, which was a 0-0 at home to South End. Oldham are currently 16th in League 2. So, hmm, I'm not sure what to make of that one. I've done that noise again. Stop making that noise! So, if I, who have I got next? Uh, I'll leave it on him, kneeling down making an error. James Olayinka, Southend United. Uh, James missed Southend's 1-0 loss at Cheltenham and their 0-0 at Oldham. They're 23rd in League 2. Terrible loan as usual. So that's another Arsenal loan derby. It should have been Harry Clark for Oldham and James Olayinka for Southend, but neither of them played. <sighs> sad, sad times. Talking of sad times, Joseph Oluwu who should actually give up football because he had a nightmare at Cork. He's having a nightmare at Wilston. Wilston are one of the worst teams in the conference. He missed their one new home win to Bournemouth and their 2-1 home loss to Halifax. They're 19th in the conference and he still can't get a game. Or he's injured. I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. There you go. Final picture. It, it looks like um, someone has shouted to Zek Medley. You, you stood something stuck to your shoe. 
and he's put his leg up behind him. He's going, oh, is there? And uh, so he looks like he's doing a bit of a pirouette on one leg in this picture. It's not great. But he's a decent player. So uh, Zach Medley, number 24, as you can see from the photo. That's how I recognise our players, because most of them I wouldn't be able to tell them from, from uh, I don't know, from, from my postman. Not easy to get. Zick played the first 67 minutes for the 3-2 away Ross. Ross? No. Lost to Ross. That's more like it. County, who had been bottom of the league for ages, and now Kilmarnock are bottom of the league. But there is no automatic relegation in Scotland. No, 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 no. The top six play off for the title, and the bottom six, they play off for relegation. What an absolutely stupid way of doing things. No, combine the top two leagues. Rather than having a league of 12 and another league of 12, you have one league of 24, and then you have a, a lower league of 24. Rather than having four divisions, and stop mucking around with it. Muppets. Um... Well, I think that's it. I've done that tuck again, haven't I? I do that rather than breathing in. I look away and I give it a little tuck, a tuck with sadness. So there you go. That was the Lone Watch, 16 minutes and 15 seconds. If you are listening to this, we will be on the show tomorrow. It is uh, some combination of, if Chris can be bothered to turn up, it will be Chris, Josh. I think it's going to be James Rouse Stokes from Goonosphere. Trying to get them to do their pods again. I don't know if they will. Jock, jockey walkie doodah. The Angry Scotsman talking about Kill. I wonder what Scottish team he supports. Probably none knowing him. He might be on, and might, so might Daniel Cowan. But if Chris isn't on, I really don't know. I mean, the show's only meant to start in twenty hours, in 22 hours. How am I supposed to get things organised by then? Hmm? Anyway, then um, on Thursday, it is the Olympiacos game. It is going to be John and Richard, Cactus Cash. And then the game on Sunday, I'm not sure yet because the offspring is back for a few days. Is she having a positive test? No, it could be negative, isn't it? And then what is it? Uh, yeah, so if she's buggered off by then, I might do the show. If not, they're going, oh, Spurs are in form, aren't they? Oh, good God. A front three of Son, an informed Bale and Kane. It's probably best if none of us watch it. There's no show on Sunday because the game is being cancelled. That's all I have to say. All right, go back to this picture. Thank you very much for listening. If you've liked it, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a subscribe or an unsubscribe. It mainly makes no difference at the moment because YouTube has decided to screw everybody over. And our views have gone from about 2,000 a show to 500. I was talking to Tom about this earlier. They're messing with his one as well. They're messing with everybody's. People aren't getting notifications because YouTube haters, bless them. I love YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and up your bum.